Here's how I made my own H bridge. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen of what it should look like on a diagram. And then right now we're gonna go and solder this up and make it work ourselves. You're gonna need six different cables, a soldering iron, some solder and wire strippers. For the input and output cables, I'm just gonna use these Arduino style like pin cables so that I can connect it and disconnect it easily from things that I want to use the switch on. For the two internal X wires that you're gonna see up on that picture again, you can use whatever you'd want. Just make sure that they don't touch any of the other prongs on the back of your switch. I'm gonna start off with the X wires first and then we're gonna do the input and output cables. So I soldered up the wire first to one side then I'm gonna just do this and bend it over to figure out my measurement of how long I need my cable to be. I'm always gonna cut a little bit extra so that we can make a mistake. I'm just gonna strip the cable and solder in the other side. All right, so we did our cross pins, which is one to six and two to five. Now we need to do our inner ones, which are going to be the power supply which I'm just gonna do is green and white. Green for power, white for ground. Now I've done my power supply switches. This is positive green, this is negative white. The last step is to go on the top two here in position one and two and to put in our two motor output cables. Just to keep things consistent, I'm gonna put the green cable on the green side, the white cable on the white side, but the wires that go out to your motor, it really doesn't matter what color they are or if they're gonna be positive and negative in uh, the original position because we're going to reverse that in the second position of the switch. That's the whole point of reversing the polarity of positive and negative. So this is what the final product should look like. I have my one cable to my motor on pin one, my other cable to my motor on pin two, then from pin one to pin six is a cross, from pin two to five is a cross, and then on pin three and four, we have the positive and negative of our power supply. Then what should happen is this going to position one will make our motor go, let's say positive on green and negative on white, and then switching that to position two will make this become negative and that go positive. That's how you make a reversing polarity switch.